Yes, we just spoke with Republican candidate for governor Bob Stefanowski. He cast his ballot here at Polson Middle in Madison, getting ready for the rest of the day. He has a long schedule ahead, and so does his challenger, or rather his opponent, and that is Democrat incumbent Ned Lamont, who will also be voting in Greenwich just in a few hours from now at 9.30 this morning. We'll be speaking to him as well at that moment at that time. Now, both candidates making their final Final plea to voters, not only this morning and throughout the day, but also yesterday, hoping to bring more people to the polls. At a get out the vote rally in New Haven, Governor Ned Lamont asking voters to reelect him as he says he looks forward to another four years to filling the 100,000 jobs that are open in the state right now and providing daycare and transportation to get people there. Look, I've been working my heart out for uh, four years as your governor and a number of months here as a candidate. Now it's up to you. And I just really hope people pay attention to this vote and vote accordingly. Now, meanwhile, at the Capitol yesterday, Republican challenger Bob Stefanowski harping on his campaign promises, which he just reiterated to us now here right outside of the polling place in Madison, saying he's voting or rather campaigning on parental rights, support for law enforcement and the economy. Take a listen to what he had to say outside of the Capitol yesterday. I'm telling you, we're going to win this election. People need to get out and vote. The only way we're going to change Connecticut is to change the governor. Now, once again, you're taking a live look or a look at what just happened live, where Stefanowski voted here at his polling place in Madison. That happened this morning, just minutes ago. We were able to speak with Stefanowski shortly afterward. We know that Governor Ned Lamont will also be voting at his polling place in Greenwich, which is happening at 9.30 this morning. Stefanowski coming here with his family, with his daughters and his wife, saying he's making it a point to have them here with him, not only to to support him, but also to, again, reinforce one of his campaign policies, which is all about the Connecticut family. Once again, taking a live look here, you can see we do have some people for other roles in the state now campaigning outside of this polling place. They're staying far back here because they're not allowed to go any further than that. We have seen even just being here within the last 30 minutes or so a pretty big turnout already in comparison, at least to what I saw uh, previously for other elections.